Rose Abdu. Hello, Justin Rue. How are you? It's so nice to be here. It is so nice to have you here. Should we tell the people how we met? Oh my god. The season two rap party of The Comeback. And we started talking. And then... And I didn't even know you were in it. Comeback was a ball. And I was going to list your entire resume Go right ahead. Now, and I'm going to, and we're going to talk about everything, <laughs> but... You are my third guest to have appeared on The Comeback, oh. which, do you even know it's my favorite show? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. My oh, I did not know that. My favorite favorite. Oh, I love it. Now, both, both parts of it, the new both. part and the off. I actually think season two is a little bit better. Okay. It got, it, Was I in season two? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. no, I know, Was but I, I didn't know if we two. counted the first one as, I didn't know if we counted it as. Do you, I mean, do you even remember? I love the show. I love the show. Do you even remember? Your credit list is in same. Oh my gosh. It's an actor's dream. Thank you. I, I really have to say that what I love about it is I have gotten to do a lot of drama and comedy. Because I love comedy. I mean, I always thought like, well, I'll only work in comedy. I was from, you know, Chicago. I did Second City. And I thought I'll only do comedies when I got out here. But my dramatic roles have been some of my favorites too. How'd you get into Second City? Uh, I auditioned for Second City. 350 people. Someone told me it was 350 women. I think it was 350 people in the bulk, in the group that I went in. And I got hired with Amy Sedaris. They were looking for two girls, Rose, and we were them. They were looking for people who could do characters, and I remember one of the auditions was like three through the door. So I thought, well, three characters through the door, I'll do seven and see what see what happens. You know, like yeah. I've always just loved imitating family members, and that who knew that I could combine that with getting paid for it. So did because I was that person when I was little, I would just you know imitate. People. So you had a supportive Always. family that allowed you to do Very it. Very much so. I have found that in this business, and you know a lot of people in this business, either it's a person whose family didn't support them at all and were like, you'll never, and they're going to go, I'll show them, or it's people who got way too much ridiculous attention when they were little. Like, I think I got so much attention that I just thought, well, it's just going to keep going, isn't it? Isn't everybody going to keep paying attention? 100% the same page. 100% the same page. You know, I you know, you know. have a sister who's very supportive. She's my best audience. She was, she, I was more shy when I was little. She was, she was like the one who had ideas to put on little shows in the basement. Older or younger? She's 14 months older. Oh. But now she's like a scientist. <laughs> she works in this company called Butterball Farms. They make balls of butter. Really? Yeah. Balls of butter. You didn't bring any? I didn't. I should have. Yeah. Oh my God. She sent me a bag of frozen balls of butter <laughs> on dry ice. That is bigger than a standard size bed pillow. I swear to God, oh I have more God. balls of butter. Why didn't I bring you balls of butter? Anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking I'll about get her off supporting you. I think I'm getting too hot in my leopard wrap. Oh, no. I was trying to do like the hot pink couch is the signature of the Justin Root show, you people know. And so I was trying to do leopard next to Keep it. I love it. But anyway, I didn't want to interrupt you because I, I tend to, I don't want to take over. I want to be the interviewee. Oh, take over. We might okay. get more viewers. Okay. <laughs> Good news in you. Do you, co do you want to co-host sometimes? When I'm like, I would love to co-host. I'll just have you. Where will we put the person? Here? Or, yeah, right in the middle. All right. Or you can host it for me when I'm like gone. Or we can, you can be my just, guest host. How about if we're off camera and they're just lying down? <laughs> Are they just lying down and they're just doing, you just hear these disembodied voices going, so tell me about the time. Now, what were we talking about though? Chicago My and Continue. your family supporting you. Yes, yes. So I loved performing. So I realized actually this week, I had a couple good auditions this week. That my favorite part of this whole thing is the audition. Is it really still? Because yes. that's what I want to ask you. There is this this misconception actually that people who work, mm -hmm. like, you know, you appear in, hello, Gilmore Girls, what, 23 episodes? Yeah. People out there who probably think, well, can't she just go to the next show or uh, another show or get that part or get I that part? I do think people think that. And you've got to duke it out with the people. I mean, maybe there are people, and I have been very lucky to get direct offers for certain things. I did a role on Shameless. The gynecologist on Shameless? You, two two times two on times, that, right? Two times, right? Oh, very good. I know, I know. And a casting director saw me, but I had met her years ago, and she knew my stage work, and she knew a lot about So she offered me the role of the therapist on Grey's Anatomy because she saw me on Shameless. That same casting director, I had to audition to be on Scandal after Grey's Anatomy. So you know what I mean? You can't just expect... Like, well, yeah. they know me now, and now, now. When I was re, uh, re, re, re looking at your oh. IMDb, just reading it before yeah. bedtime. Yeah. When I was perusing your yeah. IMDb, <laughs> it's so flattering. I realized how many people you have worked with repeatedly. Yeah. I guess I can. And so I wondered, that. like, because well, let's start right off the bat. Okay. Our very first movie. Okay. I believe was my best friend's wedding. Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. Seamstress. Good. Yes. You yeah. manhandled Julia Roberts. I did. I was pinning. I, I had a, one of those wrist pin cushions. You know, I have to do a lot of busy work when you've got a small role like that. And I was pinning, and at just one point, I just heard this voice from her. She's very tall. And she, I heard, Rose, my toes. And I was, I had been sticking her with the pins in her toes because I didn't know how to hem properly. But anyway, did, Cameron did. Diaz could not have been lovelier. She was a doll. That sounds like, but Julia wasn't. 
makeup that way. She was. And then years later, when I saw Cameron Diaz on Bed Teacher, she goes, I've worked with you before. And she remembered. No way. She did. She remembered. All those years later, and she goes, wow, that was something. And I just kind of went, yep, it sure was. That's it? Yep. That's it? And we left it at that. It's... Who else have I worked with more than once? Um, Robert Downey Jr. You were in U.S. Marshals. I did not even realize that. Yeah. And then and good, good, good luck. Guys. George Clooney. I mean. The nicest man. He's Directly, that, did, he wrote it too, right? He wrote, he did everything. He's the funniest, kindest man. I just remember coming out my trailer, I opened my trailer door and I went, who parked their bikes so close to my trailer? And he <laughs> smiled and he goes, that's yours. And, I, and they walked away and I was like, what? What? And I saw, and it's the beautiful black and white beach cruiser, leopard seat, with my character name down the side of it. Because he got us all bikes to ride to lunch. Bicycle. That's so sweet. I still have mine. I live in a very you, I was hilly, gonna ask you, where Oh is yeah, it? it's in the garage. I have a very hilly <laughs> neighborhood, so I don't ride my good night and good luck bike, but I wish it has flowers on it. It's the cutest bike. Oh, a bike. That's yeah, amazing. yeah, it was great. What so great he's great. Guy. I tell that story because I just think he's so generous. I just think his wife is absolutely beautiful. And I called my mother and I go, Oh my gosh, she's like she's just such a fashion plate. Yeah. She's beautiful. My mother goes, You know, Rossi, he got that idea after working with you to enjoy the company of a Lebanese girl. <laughs> Because I'm half Lebanese and half Dominican. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. Amal Clooney. I'm the one who gave the, the idea to go out with Amal Clooney. Did he prank you? Because that's what he's known for, the pranks. He almost... <laughs> I thought he was pranking me one day, and I was like, you were pranking me. And then he goes, that's amateur, Rose. You'll... You'll know. You'll, yeah, and then I kept waiting for it. But it was almost like the prank was me waiting for it. Because he knew I was waiting for it. <laughs> so it was like, he'll make me wait the whole time, and then it never happened. But I mean, anyway, he's the person I'm... He, I just, I just love him. Me. I most would want to see him again. You kill me. Yeah. This past week I worked on, I mean, I'm sure you were going to get to it, but I got to work on Will and Grace. Let's go. And it's four cameras. It's, there's, there's four cameras, but there's four people working each camera. And then there's boom people up there. And then there's writers galore. And there's producers. And the amount of props people, the amount of people that take, it takes to get something like that off the ground is, it's jaw dropping. And I've worked on many, many Single, you know, single camera shows mm -hmm. and three camera shows. I've, I, it just seemed like the biggest crew I've ever seen in my life. Was this your first studio audience sitcom? No, no, I did Mike and Molly. Mike and, and that's did, right, and Two Broke um, Girls. And Two Broke Girls and that's The Millers, right. that's which right. I got to meet Mr. Burroughs, James Burroughs, who's done everything and he's wonderful. They come back. <clears throat> yeah. Cheers. Exactly. With a certain actress I'm obsessed with. Oh, Shelley Love. Have you ever met her? No, I was supposed oh. to be her receptionist in a pilot she did right after Cheers. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I got to network to do it, but I never met her. Oh. Yeah, I was sick. One of my friends said, she's very talented, and she just did a show on Fox. She said, wouldn't it be great if your IMDb listed also the things you got close to? I go, that would either be terrible or great. Amazing for him. Um, I like guess it would. I love that. I love Who that. just, like, I tested for that. And you know, like, it's like the almost. You want everyone to know the almost, too, but no one cares. Anything you came close to that you can tell us? You know, I came close to getting, um, there was a show called Caroline in the City back then. Of course, Leah Thompson. Yeah, and I, and I actually, the girl who got it, I told Leah her. Leah Thompson. Well, not the main girl, <laughs> Amy Peets, who's very oh, talented yeah. actress. She lived in the same apartment complex that I was staying in, and I was like, you got to go in on this show. Because I thought she'd be great, and she was great, and she got the part. But I was kind of like, maybe I should have done that. You said that? But I don't, that? Think, I don't think I would have gotten it. No, but the, the, cam, the multicam audience... I used to do that so Raven for the Disney Channel. That yeah. So they would the only show of yours I haven't seen. Oh, how interesting! The they would, there's eight of them. There's no, still a chance to catch up. Right. That is the show I believe I get recognized for. The that's most. what I was going to ask yes. you. That's so because the kids who watch that who were tweens at the time are now running every cash register in every place I go. Right. They're manning the counter at the press juicery and the H and M and the places that I like stop in and go. You know who you look like, or. I had you for Spanish class. I'm like, think about what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, you don't remember me? I had you. You were my Spanish teacher. I'm like, mm, really think about what you're saying. I went to visit my family in Michigan. It happened four times. I'm like in a Plato's closet with my niece buying clothes. No, but you had me as a student. And I'm like, mm, I don't. And then they're like, oh my God, it's you from TV. Like they're, it's the craziest. So anyway, the loaded, the audiences, they would scream. They scream. Uh... They loved the show because it became a big hit. It was the first really big hit for Disney Channel. Yeah. It was, I think, before the Hannah Montana's and the Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, maybe, was... maybe not. Maybe we're on the same time. But anyway, they loved the show. I said to my husband, picture the loudness of the That's a Raven audience. Now triple it for the Will and Grace. <laughs> yeah. I mean... And it stayed at that high decibel. Like it was, they're passionate the people can't wait for this show to come back. I can't wait. I'm for one it. of them. Yeah, can I love. Can you tell us about everybody. it? What'd you do? Who'd you play? Who are you? I don't know if I can. Oh, okay. But I felt like the week was like oh, I just play tennis with the best people. Like you just uh, feel like the top, 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 the top, the, the top. top. Yeah, I can't say enough about it. And I'm not a person who gets like, oh my god, they're so amazing. Yeah. 
but I was blown away by by the level of talent. How many? One episode? I'm on one, yeah, okay. so far. No, I don't know. I, I wish. Oh, please. I do. It would be so great. They're just the, they're You're lovely. Are you allowed to tell who you work with or not? Uh... The four of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah, no, I better not. I, I don't know. I better not. Okay, don't. But you'll see. I'll come back it. again after yes, it's on. Yes. We'll talk I about it. I love it. And it's needed yeah. again, don't you think? Yes, I do. I do. Right. And actually, Deborah Messing said that to me. We said that to each other at the same time. It's like, people need to laugh right now. Real bad. And I think the subject matter, people are more ready. They were way ahead of their time. Way ahead. Way ahead. Yeah. Way yeah. ahead. It's fantastic. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to this show. There is no format. There's nothing. Oh. I just jump around. Okay, so good. Go right I like jumping around. Guilt trip. Oh my gosh. Did you have so much fun? Seth Rogen, did. Barbara Streisand, Kathy and Jimmy. I did. I had, no, but the best who you haven't even named, Miriam Margolis. Oh, Miriam yeah, Miriam Margolis yeah, yeah. is the funniest woman you'll ever, she had a necklace with an elephant to the elephant kept moving left across her left bazoom. She is one of the funniest people ever. Every time there was a pause. She would go, what are we all doing? Why are we all, why are we all eating roast chicken? We ate that I was going to say, that's it. You're con okay. just chicken, 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 chicken. Seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours, people. And it was a living room set, a uh, dining room set and a soundstage. And there was Barbara Streisand. And I'm like, I'm touching Barbara Streisand. Like I'm sitting. So it's like the childhood me kept going, you're sitting at a table with going down to Stony End. I never wanted to go. I mean, it's like, I can't. I go, I, mean, I think I said something like this. You've brought me years of pleasure. Like, I think it came out like that. And you brought, you brought me years of entertainment. <laughs> Not that we're that far apart in age. Because I didn't want it to seem like my <laughs> whole life. Like, I didn't want it to seem like I was complimenting her and saying, like, I was only two when you yeah. started. You know, I, because she's not that much older than me. But I just was so excited to be with her. And then the dressing room, her dressing room trailer opened. And I don't, Justin, I'm telling you, I don't know if my mind was playing tricks on me. I feel like I saw 17 wigs that all looked exactly the same. <laughs> oh, in the dressing room? Yeah. Like in her trailer. Could that have happened? Yeah, absolutely. Or they were like 17 wig heads and they all had the identical wigs. And I was like, what do you need that night? How come? And she, between takes, I will tell you this, puts lipstick on herself. Really? They hand it to her and she puts it on herself in a tiny little gorgeous mirror. I was actually going through a health challenge during that movie. It was between, I have to tell you this, the audition for that movie, I'm very proud of this was the day after my first chemotherapy. Well, that's what I... Uh, uh, it was horrible. I mean... So during that movie was between chemos four and five. Between chemos four and five. Tell, we'll tell everybody. So I was like, I'm meeting Barbara Streisand. I'm trying not to vomit on the table. And roast chicken. But but I'm so I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud that I did it. Yeah, well, you know, tell I'm everybody. Bad. what. what so let's I, really I, bring it down. Let's bring it down. I was um, diagnosed with appendix cancer. It, my friend said, you know, appendix cancer is so rare. The only well-known person, you know how like they'll name in People Magazine, here's all the women who've had breast cancer that have survived, which I think is, is great for people who just get it. Yeah. They're like, oh my God, look, I can be like Cheryl Crow or whatever. Yeah, you know? Appendix cancer, no one had appendix cancer. But Audrey Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn. So my friend Stephen Moore, who's hilarious, goes to me, you had the little black dress of cancers. Like it's just the oh. so special and different breakfast of Tiffany cancer. No, but I had yeah I had a tumor in my appendix the size of a lime. And why are cancer tumors always listed as it was a golf ball? It was a lime, like the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing. Yeah, like and you usually fruit. And like, you it's a great never fruit, a lime. and you never. Uh, then every time you look at a lime or a kiwi from then on, you're like, ooh, that was my tumor. But anyway, I had it on my appendix, and um, they found it just because I was like, literally, it was that vaudeville like sketch. Doctor, it hurts when I do this. And I thought I'd go to the doctor yeah. and he'd go, then don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, there's a shadow on you. So they, yeah, long story short, take, they took it off. How long have you been cancer free? So seven, so this February will be seven years. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. On the one year anniversary of when my chemo ended, I had an audition for NBC's Parenthood. That's, it, you, do you want to just produce the show? <laughs> I'm serious. Like that, you said like. And I went into it and I said to the casting director, I kind of have to tell you this. I said, this is my one year, August 1st to the day, the day I ended chemo. And I did the monologue and I thought, whoever wrote this knows exactly. Yeah, I just felt so connected That's to the amazing. material. So I ended up getting the part. Now, that was supposed to be one episode and I ended up doing, I think. Six or five. Okay, five, I was going to say five. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it. it was five or six. And I would do fake chemo and I thought, getting paid to do chemo is so much better than doing it for you paying them. <laughs> I mean, it's fantastic. Right. My sister said, why do you have to be so method? Did you have to go through all that in real life just to play? Because I go, I don't think I could have played this part accurately if I hadn't done that. And she goes, you could have. And you didn't even get a goddamn guest at me. Come on. Sure. But you know what I'm really proud of? Monica Potter, 
got a Golden Globe nomination for that season, and I was like, oh, I did most of my scenes with her. You like, you know, I mean, she's she's amazing. And somebody wrote, well, someone who loved it on the Parenthood page wrote, so unrealistic, TV cancer, that actress has all her eyebrows and all her eyelashes, like I would look sicker, and I wanted to go, I had chemo, and my hair never fell out. There's 33 kinds of chemo. Not all chemo makes your hair fall out. And I will say, you get more sympathy when you're bald and have no eyelashes, because people are like, you look great, and I'm like, oh, I have eyelashes, but I feel horrible. Aww. But I mean, I just, I admire anyone who's done it, because it's just, you do look into a person's eyes who's also gone through it, and you know... You, you just have a shared thing. So I was very grateful to get to portray her with integrity and with the knowledge that I... I mean, I really knew what I was doing. Point Chambers, she was two years younger than me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that has to hit. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Why is she younger than me? Well, I was like, well, <laughs> probably because I look two years younger than I really am. Anyway, I don't care if you know how old I am. Waiting. 54. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm going to be 55. I'm, you know, I can't wait because I... First of all, want the senior discounts, Justin. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, everything good happens after 55. But I feel like all the parts that I loved when I was a little girl, I loved the, and I didn't know, I don't know how old Jean Stapleton was when she was, you know, Edith and all the family. Probably I know that B. Arthur could not have possibly been under 40 doing mod, right? She was oh, no, she was in her 50s. She had to have been, right? So the people that I loved, Esther Roll, B. Arthur, Jean Stapleton, all those actresses that I admired. I wanted to have Kathleen Freeman, Mary Wicks, Doris Roberts. Those were the comedians that I admired. Like, I, lo I love Rita Moreno. I have lost right. two roles to Rita Moreno. She's oh. 80 years old. Really? Two roles. Am I wrong? You have played so many ethnicities, and you're, I, like, yeah. born in Chicago. Uh, well, I was born in Detroit, oh, but okay. I lived in Chicago for years. I'm a Midwest person, and my mother is Dominican, and my father was Lebanese, so I have played Italian and Spanish and Jewish and yeah, a lot, a lot. I'm mm -hmm. very, I, I love that. And you must get all the time. Uh, what, 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 what's your name? All, all the time, all the time. All the time. I wrote a show called What Are You? What Are <laughs> really? You? Really? Yes. And then I have a big R. And that was the logo. What are you? What are you? Constantly. And I say in the sh one person show that I wrote, there's a cool way to ask that and a horrible way to ask it. Like, what are you? What's the horrible way? Well, I had a woman in Canada, producer of a show I was doing, are both your parents? Dark. What? 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 Yeah, there's sometimes where you it gives you pause. The what? This is what I said. My husband pointed this out to me. It's not so much the question, it's the reaction after the question. Okay? Uh, so I will go back to George Clooney and tell you this. He said, where are you? I said, I'm half Lebanese, half Dominican. He goes, wow, great food and liquor on both sides. Oh That's how you react to that. that. It's when people go, oh. Then you're like, what is Omi? Yeah. Are you fascinated by that or horrified by yeah. that? Or whatever. Um, I have to ask you about Strangers Please with Candy. Please do. Well, I'd love talking about that. Should I take my hair down? Do you know that my hairdo is kind of like a senorita? Maria, what was my name? Maria de Los Angeles Pons Montes Garcia y Perez. Donde esta the stop sign? I have to tell you, that was my idea. Really? Yes. I toured with those people. So it was Steve Colbert, Paul Donello, and Amy Sedaris were my touring company in Chicago. We toured the country together. 33 states. I got, you know, asked by them to come do that show. And they said, she's a driver's ed teacher. She's a Spanish teacher who also teaches because of budget cutbacks. So I said to the director, wouldn't it be funny if when I was talking about driver's ed, I talked in a Queens accent, but when I was talking about Spanish, I was, so that's how it came to pass. Amazing. Donde esta the stop sign? Eso no es. Eso es the yield sign. That was how we decided to do that. But I do get recognized for that quite a bit. Oh, too. I bet. Yeah. I talk about a cult. Oh, wow. Favorite. That is I a mean, cult following. I can't wait for her new show. Yeah. yeah. Four Year Old Virgin. Oh, my gosh. You had that was really one fun. of the best. It's one of the funniest scenes. You know, that was also quite long. It was a long yeah. scene in a Benihana where we say. Was it a real Benihana or a scene? A real Benihana. No and way. Cena, yeah. And I said, and he was so kind to me, and he was telling Catherine Keener, who's in the scene, yeah. she's Lebanese, like me too. Oh, and he said, um, we had a whole thing where it's like, it's your birthday, it's my daughter's birthday. Sing happy birthday. And he's so embarrassed, but we, it was much longer than what you see in there. Oh, movie. I bet. Yeah, it's another one of my, it's chopped down, but I'm so grateful to still be in it. It's such a fun scene, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, you gotta talk about Gilmore Girls. Oh, I mean, Girls. remember I said you work with people all the time? Yes. Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham is delightful, and that. she wrote a book called Someday, Someday, Maybe, that might be partially based on like her living in the 90s in New York okay. and being an actress. It is one of the best. I don't know if it's because I over-related to it because I was also an actress, was, I still am, but re reading it, I got to read it on the set while she was two chairs away from me. I read that book during the revival. So I would stop and go, oh my God, I'm at the point where you just met your New York agent. Like it was the best experience reading her writing and getting to tell her 
chapter by chapter what I loved about her book. That's amazing. It was just one of my favorite experiences of work. But what else do you want to ask me? Oh my gosh, that was so much Beat. fun. One of, uh, do you watch it? Do you love it? No, you don't. You've never seen an episode. You I ha me. I've seen a couple, but I'm not a passionate. And I'm because passionate. it's one of those shows that I love everybody on it, the ones I've seen I've absolutely loved, but I have this weird thing where it's like, I missed it from the beginning. I have to oh, watch, gotcha. I need to watch all of them. Same. It I, happened I, I to be with The Good Wife. I was like, I can't now. I can't just jump in. Yeah, so, so Veep I loved doing, and Veep I got because I auditioned to be a senator on Veep with it the longest monologue on the planet. Wow. And I did it. And I was so proud of myself for not having to look at the paper. Nice. And then the casting person remembered me and gave me the judge. You were judge. Yes. Right. Two episodes. For two. But I had to I had to get it. You know when people are like, you just get, got that? And I go, but I didn't just get it. Because I had to, if I didn't show her, I could do the senator. She's been very good to me, though, that casting director, Allison Jones. She's a wonderful person. Oh, she's huge. She's huge. Oh, she's huge. And she remembered me and put me in there. And it was so fun for me because I was doing the grinder at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is where my career's going. Yeah. I'm going to be a judge. You should be a judge on that, too. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be great if I could get a series regular being a judge? Here's why. I don't love to walk and talk. I like to sit down. That's amazing. You get to wear a robe so it hides everything. everything. You can your weight could go up or down. There's pockets for candy. You're higher than everybody. You get to rule over everybody. It's the greatest job. Oh, it's the best. Amazing. Being a judge is fantastic. What about senator? No? Too much? Love being a senator. Because yeah. that, that role is intense. Oh, my gosh. That role is intense. That's the show I wished I could have, I could have come, returned. Yeah. Senator Moskowitz. My fantasy was they were building Melly up to be the president. So if Hillary was president, Melly would be president. And then I would be her Huma Abedin. Yeah. You yeah. know, like I was... Moskowitz and she would get back together, and yeah, I, I really wanted to go back on that show. So was okay. Shonda Rhimes? Uh, I never met her. You never? No, met her. I would have loved to have met really? her. Yeah, because now I've done two two of her shows, and I would love to do How to Get Away with Murder. So if I had a wish list now, I would the, be. To that's go, my question. Yeah, to what go role? Head to head in the courtroom with Viola Davis, which would, I've met her twice. She's a lovely woman. Mm. She's so nice, and I will want to be on the Goldbergs. Because it's one of I, my favorite I, shows. I, I, I can tell you show. everything about everything about that show. It is I the most underrated either. I adore Jeff Garland for years. He was uh, in my. I worked with him at Second City, and, and I did. And you her, worked with I well, his wife and, um, and Marla. I she just, Marla's on the comeback. And I, Marla is fantastic, and she and I did a very um, very small roles in a movie called Other People. Yeah, with, with Molly Shannon. Shannon yeah. Yes, we play teachers in that. She's great. Marla, I've known her for years, and I want to be. And I recently got to meet Wendy McClendon Covey, and just. <sighs> fangirled all over her. Exactly. My favorite I love that show. thing on that show is when she says, go to your room, you little fuck. And they bleep it out. And they bleep her. I laugh every single Me time. Too. Every single time. Me too. Time. I do too. And I that's one of the things I look forward to when it's on my TiVo. I am so sad that we're at the end of our show already. I can't. I could talk to you all by. day. I'm going to have to come back. Will you? I want to come back in, in another season so I can wear Because where am I going to wear my big pink fur coat? Although, would that blend in too much with the couch? No, no not at all. We'll find no. out. I, want to, I have two pink... Then you have to come back twice. Two pink furs. I belong in this room. Yeah, you do. You have to come back twice. And all then the time. we'll rearrange so that it'll be the blue couch in here, too. It's Ooh, really, nice. For you viewers at home, you only see a small portion of the gorgeous set, house, home, I don't it's know what you want to call it, that is the gorgeous home that belongs to Mr. Justin. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, it's beautiful. I rent. Um, it's beautiful and it smells delicious. Like flowers and perfume. It does. Well, at the end of my show, we do either or. Okay. It's so simple, you don't even have to think. Okay. Cubs or bears? Ooh. Cubs. Monopoly. Cubs because I'm from Chicago. But I think that's not what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is? Okay, yeah. Cubs. The bears are from Chicago, too. Cubs, Cubs, Cubs. Bears are your football team. Cubs. Do you know that? Yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I did know that. Soldier Field. Yes. Monopoly or Trivial Pursuit? Oh, Trivial Pursuit. Will? Because of the wedges. I like the little colorful wedge. Will or Grace? The characters, not the uh, actors. The characters, I don't know. I would never do that to the actors. Eric McCormick or Deborah Messing? How dare you. I love them both so equally, and I've just recently seen both of them, and I enjoy them. Okay, I won't make you pick. Eric McCormick or Deborah Messing? How dare you. <laughs> High heels or boots? Oh, boots. Winning two supporting actress awards or one best actress award? Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the two. I love it. I, I love you would. bookends. I knew you would. Yeah. Glee or American Horror Story? Oh, Glee. Well, Glee. Talk show host Queen Latifah or actress Queen Latifah? Actress Queen Latifah. Crickets or bird chirping? Ugh, neither. Crickets. Santa Monica. Oh, I can't stand the sound of birds. I, I can't stand it. No. I can't stand it. Santa Monica or Beverly Hills? I'm not going to get through this. I'm going to laugh the whole time. Santa Monica. Salsa or dip? Ooh, good one. Salsa Verde. I love a green salsa. Surprise breakfast in bed 
for a surprise romantic dinner waiting for you. Romantic dinner waiting for me. Crumbs in the bed, no go. Cannot. Diane Keaton and Baby Boom or Diane Keaton and First Wives Club? Oh, Baby Boom. Ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ooh, ice cream. ABBA? Or because I don't think the frozen yogurt machine is clean. It's a very <laughs> difficult machine to clean. I always feel a little upset when I eat that. Okay. ABBA. Gelato. How about if I, what if everything you said I was like, Boots or high heels? Sandals! Like if I just refuse to go. Why do I have to limit myself to those two? Continue. Romantic dinner waiting for me. How about walk on the beach? Like, though that's not part of it, Okay, continue. I can do I literally can do this all day. All day. <laughs> the um, would you rather game is my favorite. Like, I love I love that you love this because I love, I love this. I can you know why literally I, love this? I could do this for seven more hours. Me too. Ava or BGs? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh that's oh, that's gun to my head. I can't even. I love them both so much. Wait, Dancing Queen? I can't. Fernando. Bee Gees, I saw in concert with the Pontiac Silverdome. Oh, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I can't. Oh, gun to my head. Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Danny Zuko or Vinny Barbarino? Vinny Barbarino. I love Welcome to Canada. Snow Globe or an hourglass? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hourglass. Uh, I love an hourglass. I have several miniature hourglasses that I wear as necklaces. Dollywood or Graceland? Ooh, I think Graceland. Sunroof or convertible? Ooh, I just had this conversation with my friend who got a new Fiat. Oh my God, I think that I like the idea of a convertible, but the actual wind blowing all over and the hair messing, I don't think I could take it. Sunroof. Surf or turf? Ooh, surf, for sure. ER or Grey's Anatomy, which you were on? Interesting. I think ER, okay. classic. Okay. Alex Trebek or Pat Sajak? Oh God. Alex Trebek, the way he'll say, oh, it's like you have the answers right in front of you. Stop being so condescending. He has a very condescending way about it. I think Pat Sajak, just because of that. Matches or lighter? Oh, matches. I love matches. I do too. Oh, I love I matches. Love a match. Oh, I'd love I to love strike a match. match. Yeah. Stevie Nicks or Stevie Wonder? Ooh, that's a tough one. No, Ooh, because I love Stevie Wonder, but I love Stevie Nicks. Because I was in a store the other day, and I was like, what's going on with the fashion? It seems like the white winged dove sings the song, sounds like she's saying it. Like ooh, everything, baby. Ooh, ooh, baby, ooh. ooh. Everything was so Stevie Nicks. Your answer is Stevie Nicks. I want you to know that. Yeah, I think it is. And no, I, I yeah, know it is. No. <laughs> you don't even get that option. <laughs> you know me so well. You so well. You kind of uh, trust. You kind of have a little witchy thing happening I got a witchy right thing. Now. I always have a thing that makes it look like maybe there's a deck of tarot cards in the purse. <laughs> We don't know. There might be. Wait, did you play a fa uh, a, always. A, a site? I'm always a fortune teller. A, for a fortune teller on Brothers and Sisters. Brothers and Sisters. Yes. Fortune teller on Pretty Little Liars. Yes. A fortune teller on Happy Endings. I was a fortune teller. I've done it four times. Well, thank you so much. I can't thank I you enough for coming. And I um, look forward to plugging uh, Criminal Minds. I'm going to be at Criminal nice. Minds. Okay. Season 13, I think. Oh, God. Yeah. And um, Will and Grace. So excited. And we're going to see you in so much oh, more. So, so much thank more. You. And I can't wait to the day when I can't even get you on my sofa. Oh, you'll you're always so be good. able to. All right, you're thank the best. You. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank I had so you. much fun. Thank you. Thank you. It was so much fun. Oh my God. Get out of here. Oh my God. I'm sorry we went that long. It was really fun. <laughs> I loved it. Use this part. Bye. Cleavage. Bye.